Ladies and gentlemen and we students, we're going to learn about taxes and tax returns. Okay, so here's what we're going to learn in this lesson, where your tax money goes, your rights and responsibilities as a taxpayer, um, what's a W-4, a W-2, and a 1040 easy, and how do you complete your taxes. So what we're going to do is we're going to do our taxes in class next week. So we're going to learn about taxes this week. Bring all your stuff next week because we're going to do taxes in class. Bring your stuff. If you already did them, bring in a copy of a W-2 and we'll be good. All right, why do we pay taxes, number one? All right, so answer this in your notes. Put at the top of your notes, put notes, taxes, write your name, and then answer this question. What do you think that our tax money should be spent on? What are, like, top three priorities? Okay, hit pause and answer that question. Okay, so here is at what the federal government spends its money on. We got a big one over here is Social Security and unemployment. Over here is Medicare and health, military, um, interest on the debt, and I don't know when this is from. This is from 2015, so this is a little couple years old, but probably pretty close. Um, one thing to be um, worried about is that here's the section that our politicians get to choose. They can decide how much they spend here. These things are already chosen for it, for them, and so most of the money is already chosen. These are called entitlements. They're kind of owed to people. Um, Nobody wants to get rid of Medicare, and nobody wants to get rid of Social Security, um, but it's a big chunk of the government. Uh, so something for you guys to think about. I would, I would not get rid of Social Security if it were up to me. I would, I would change it around a little bit to where it's, it doesn't look like this. To where anyway, uh, that's a that's a topic for another day. Anyway, so take a look and see if if you agree with how our federal government spends its money. So answer these questions. What are the top two things that the federal government spends its money on? And how would you change how the federal gov government spends the money if you were in charge? Answer those questions in your note. Anything in red, by the way, is a question that you have to write in your notes. Here's how the state pays its money or spends its money. So quite a bit different than the federal government. Okay, so a lot of it goes to education. Um, so K through 12, kindergarten through senior year. Um, higher education for the community colleges. This probably is higher now because they're putting a lot of money into the community colleges, natural resources, health and human services, um, corrections and rehabilitation. So this is for like the jails and all that. And then you have some random other stuff. So same question, but about the state. Oh, this should say state spending. What, what, top, what are the top things that the state spends its money on? How would you change how the state spends their money? Okay, so here's your rights and responsibilities as a taxpayer. This is what you should do, and this is what the state and federal government should do. Okay, so you should be honest on your taxes. Don't cheat. If everybody cheated, that would be bad. Um, everybody should pay some taxes, I think. The responsibility to provide accurate information. So again, don't lie and give them the information they need. Um, you need to keep records, especially as you get older. Um, keep your records, uh, keep your tax returns, um, things like that. Um, pay your taxes on time. And be cur courteous. Taxes can be a pain, but when you're talking to your tax preparer and you're talking to the IRS, be courteous. Hopefully they'll do the same thing to you. More, more responsibilities. Um, keep photocopies of your tax return and your W-2 forms for at least three years. So you have to do it for three. Seven is probably better. Um, and then pay your taxes by April 16th. So that's your responsibility as a taxpayer. Okay, here's your rights. Here's what the government should do for you. Um, you should be informed on what's happening with the tax system. You should be informed on what taxes you owe and when. Um, you should get help if you need it on your taxes. You should be heard if you have a complaint. Um, you should have the right to pay no more than the correct amount of tax, so they shouldn't cheat you. You should be able to appeal if there is something that you think is fishy. Um, there should be certainty, like, hey, I paid my taxes. They can't come back later and charge me more. Uh, the right to privacy. They shouldn't share your information with anybody. I, don't, I, I personally don't even want my brother to know about my taxes, so I don't want the whole world to know. Um, confidentiality, same thing. Don't share your information. Uh, representation, so if you, um, if you need to hire a lawyer to fight your taxes, you should be able to do that and there should be a fair and just tax system. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the different forms for the taxes. 
All right, so write this down. It's in red. It's not a question. It's a statement. So write it down. You can write it down in your own words, shorter if you want. But a W-4 is an IRS form you complete when you first get a job to let your employer know how much money you want to withhold from your paycheck. Okay, so depending, so if you fill it out one way, you'll pay more taxes each month. If you fill it out a different way, you'll pay less taxes each month. Um, so the, the idea is you want to pay the correct amount of tax. So you don't want to pay too much. If you pay too much taxes, then your paycheck each month is smaller. You get it back at the end of the year, right? So if you pay too much taxes, you'll get, get it back at the end of the year, right? If you pay too little taxes, then when it comes to be tax season, then you'll owe more money. And then answer this, why is it a bad idea to overpay taxes and get a big refund? Some people will do this. They'll purposely overpay their taxes and, and they'll say, hey, it's really great because during tax season we get a check back from the IRS. It's kind of like a bonus. I would say this is a bad idea. Um, why is that a bad idea? All right, answer that. And then consider completing a new W-4 form each year. If things change, fill out a new W-4 form. Um, okay. Let's jump back to this. Why is it a bad idea to overpay taxes? Because of a thing called compounding interest. If you pay extra taxes and let the IRS keep it, they're using your money for free. They're not paying you interest on it. You'd be way better off paying the correct amount of taxes, um, putting that the extra, mo extra money into some sort of fund that makes money. And instead of the government using your money for free for a year, you actually get to make compounding interest on that money. So... Uh, that's a bad idea. Let's take a look at what the W-4 looks like. Okay, so basically, um, here's you, here's if you're married, here's down here if you have children, dependents. So basically, it's saying, hey, I have, you know, if you have children, you pay less taxes. So you're kind of setting this thing up. Okay, now the deal is this. So like, if I, for me, if I wanted to, so I have three kids. I could put down that I had 10 kids, right? And that, that would have me pay less taxes. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's not really a lie on the W-4. You're basically trying to get to that number where you want to be at, where you're paying just the right amount of taxes so that you don't um, have to pay at the end or you don't get money back at the end. So, for example, my wife and I, we ended up paying taxes last year, even though our W-4 was correct. So when we do our, our W-4 this time, we're going to, put down that, hey, we only have two kids. It doesn't matter. It's not really a lie. You're just trying to get to that number. And so they'll end up taking out more taxes each month so that at the end of the year, they won't, um, we won't owe taxes. Okay. So and why is it okay to lie on the W-4? Answer that question. Okay. Actually, I'm going to come back to that. Why is it okay to lie on the W-4? The reason it's okay to lie, and write this in your notes. The reason it's okay to lie on the W-4 is because this is not the actual amount of taxes you pay overall, right? This determines how much you pay each month. And at the end of it, at the end of the season on April 15th, you file your tax return and then you get it right. So if you pay too much, you get some back. If you pay too little, you pay. So the, the government doesn't really care what you put on the W-4 because they know that when you when you file your tax return, they're, they're going you have to put the very accurate information on the tax return on April 15th, and they'll they'll get their money one way or another. So that's why it's okay to that should be quote unquote lie on the W-4. You're just trying to get to the right number where you're paying the right amount each month to where you you don't pay on April 15th or you don't aren't owned owed money on April 15th. All right. What is a W-2? Now, there's so that we looked at the W-4, right? The W-4 is basically trying to figure out how much you're going to pay each month to pay the correct amount of taxes. Okay, now what's the W-2? Okay, so your boss should have already sent you a W-2. Um, so the requires employers to report wages and salary information for their employees on a W-2 form. So your boss looks at, hey, here's how much money you made all year long. Here much, here's how much you made in wages and overtime and tips. And they send this to you. And then you're going to use this information, like here's how much money I made the entire year. And then you're going to use that to actually file your tax returns to basically square up with the government. Do you, do you owe them? Do they owe you? Or did you get it right the first time? As an employee, the information on your W-2 is extremely important when preparing your tax returns. This is the information you basically use to fill out your tax returns. Okay, now, what is a W-2 and why is it bad to lie on the W-2? Answer those questions. 
Okay, so let's take a look at a sample W2. Actually, let's hop back here. Why is it bad to lie on the W2? If the So if your boss lies on the W2, I don't know why he would, but if your boss lied on the W2, he could definitely get in trouble. This is bad to lie on because this is the information you use to actually do your tax returns to get accurate information to the government for taxes. Okay, so let's take a look at a, a sample W2. Okay, so let's see what this thing is. Okay, so here, here's some things that you'd see in a W-2. Your boss's information, how much money you made, how much how much tax has already been withheld, um, how much Social Security tax has already been withheld from your job. So basically it has just a bunch of information about um, just about how much taxes you paid in, and to where. Okay, so that's kind of what a W-2 is going to look like. It'll say W-2 at the bottom. Um, so it'll have your social security number. By the way, this is, there's some sensitive information on here, so you don't want that getting around. So don't protect that thing. Okay. All right, what is a 1040 EZ form? Okay, so this is basically what you prepare and send to the government. You could do it yourself. You might, your parents might have your tax guy do it. Um, so this is basically, you take the information from, the, from your W-2, you put it on here, you fill out some more information, and then you basically calculate how much you owe the government or they owe you. Okay? Why is it bad to lie on the 1040EZ? Because the IRS will arrest you or do something to you. Get their, they're going to get their money out of you one way or the other. You need to be honest on your 1040EZ. Okay? Let's take a look at a sample 1040EZ um, or let's look at the form. Okay? So basically you fill, it in, fill in your name. Um, and so look, all the information comes from the W-2. Um, and so basically you, you go through this, it's fairly simple, you fill it out, and at the end of it, you put down, you know, how much, where is it at? Anyway, so you put down how much you owe the government or they owe you. Okay, so we'll do this, we'll fill out the 1040 easy next week when you bring in your W-2. Okay? So this is where you look at what taxes you paid and what you should have paid and make up the difference with more taxes or a refund from the government. All right, so here you can read through this and find out on your own if the 1040 easy form is a form for you. Probably is because you probably don't have a crazy, um, crazy income. Okay, so here's how I want you to finish up. There's a quiz on taxes on Canvas. Take the quiz. You just took some notes, turn in the notes, and then if with the remaining time, I want you to complete the risk tolerance investment worksheet. We're jumping back into personal finance. Don't forget to bring all your tax stuff next week, your W-2 form, uh, and we'll do taxes in class.